Eat your freaking B12, guys. Hey everyone, it's Manny from Vegan Rock Climbing again. Today with a topic which I get asked about a lot when I state that I'm vegan. Vitamin B12, cobalamine. It is an extremely complex organic compound, extremely big, relatively big. And it's also the biggest and most complex of all vitamins as far as I remember. And it contains a cobalt ion, which makes it represent basically the only way in which biological organisms like us have to consume this element. Um, interestingly, we need only very low amounts of this substance, okay? The estimated average requirement if you're 14 years or older or and, and not pregnant and not an infant and stuff like that are about 2 micrograms per day. That's 2 millionths of a gram, so that's really not much as you can see. But unfortunately, it cannot be produced by ourselves. In fact, no animal, plant or fungi can produce vitamin B12 themselves. So we have to ingest it, okay? We have to get it from somewhere. Who actually synthesizes it? It's the bacteria and the archaea, which live in the dirt, in the soil, that, can, that have the genes um, rendering them to be able to um, synthesize this uh, very vital substance. The fact that we need such low amounts of it is quite practical, because even when we stop eating B12, then we have still some, some time left until we develop some deficiencies, okay, depending on the individual stores and usage, of course. But here's the thing, guys, now listen, we need this, stu this stuff for a lot of things in our body, um, ranging from formation of the blood, especially of the red blood cells, and for a functional neurological system, okay? So here especially for the myelin coverings of the nerves. So if you're running into a deficiency, you risk irreversible neurological damage and anemia. And that's clearly something you want to avoid. So be sure, especially when you hopped on the vegan bandwagon, that you smash in the supplements regularly. You have the choice, I mean, nothing is easier than that, okay? You have the choice between injections, pills, sprays, and all kinds of stuff. I'm personally, I'm personally doing quite well with these capsules here. So I'm gonna show you that. That's methyl cobalamine from Pure Encapsulations, as you can see. And this is um, really good stuff. I take one per day, and one equals an amount of 500 micrograms. Okay, so as you can see here, we we are overdosing quite a lot, a lot here because we need only two micrograms per day, as we stated before. But the absorption is quite bad, so you need more than that if you want to supplement it. So there are pills from food from 500 micrograms up to 2,000 micrograms per per capsule, I think. Okay, but um, I'm doing quite well with these. When I went vegan, I didn't care much about my B12, and I noticed also in my blood tests that it goes down. So I decided finally to supplement it, and from there on, it went back up again. And I get my blood work done regularly to check that up, okay? So that's another thing that I would highly recommend to you. Get your blood work done to be sure where you stand, okay? Now here's something else which you should keep in mind when it comes to vitamin B12. There is no such thing as a global consensus about what normal blood values are. Depending on where you live, you might still be in the normal range with 200 um, nanograms per liter, I think it was. But, for example, in Japan, you would be classified severely deficient with such, a, with such a value and instantly treated with a shot. So you gotta be aware of that. You should aim to stay above 400 nanograms per liter, I would say. But as I said, there is no global consensus. Be on the safe side and, get, and keep the level high. There is basically no, no too much about, um, no too mu not too much B12, okay? It's water soluble and therefore it can be easily excreted by the kidneys. So you don't have to be afraid of overdosing. Now some of you might say, why are you focusing so much on the vegans, man? Um, there, basically everybody can be deficient. If you have a lack of intrinsic factor, for example, you can be, be deficient of B12 even as a meat eater. And that is true. Basically, everybody can be deficient. Everybody should check up if their B12 is working normally, I would say. But the sad truth is also that we, we as vegans are much more prone to B12 deficiency than our fellow meatheads. And the reason for that is simply because we do not ingest enough of it. I've linked down below to videos from Dr. Gregor um, to demonstrate this fact, okay? So here you can educate yourself further. 
A lot of the bacteria which synthesize B12, which we talked about before, live actually in our gut, okay? particularly in the large intestine. Unfortunately, we cannot absorb B12 from the large intestine, which leads to a lot of B12 in our poo and stuff. Okay? So the same is true for other animals. And in former times, this led to a lot of B12 around in the nature because we spread the poo everywhere, you know, and it landed also on our fields and stuff and on the veggies and greens. And there we could probably also get some B12 from the plant foods, okay? And especially um, if you're living in the jungle nowadays or whatever, then you still can get your B12 from the plant foods because basically this bacteria is sticking on the surface of the plants everywhere, okay? But then you probably wouldn't watch this YouTube video, let's be honest. And in our strange, um, rapidly changing world today, where everything is, is getting washed and sterilized so thoroughly, of course also all the um, B12 synthesizing bacteria get washed away from the plants, leading to a sterile product which is completely depleted in any B12 um, nutrients, okay? so. You gotta be aware of that, you cannot get um, B12 from plants anymore, at least not nowadays, at least if you're not living in a jungle somewhere. Now one more thing guys, then I'll let you go. If you're one of those, per those persons who think now, oh no man, the vegan diet, how can it be healthy when there is a nutrient completely missing out, you know, I mean this cannot be healthy, that's not natural and stuff like that. You should be aware, if you're eating animal products, then you're eating supplements of B12 as well. As we said before, the plants are sterile, okay, they are washed and the livestock gets also plant foods. So if the livestock is deficient in B12, they have to get supplemented as well, okay, the cows, the pigs, the chickens, they get supplements from the industry to develop into a, a normal animal, okay. So you gotta be aware of that. If you're eating animal products, you're eating supplements as well. You're supplementing B12 as well. So be smart, use your brain and do pass by the animals and eat the supplements yourself, okay? Um, bypass all the cholesterol, the saturated fats, the animal proteins, all the stuff that clogs up your arteries, okay? Bypass all the suffering and death and pain of the animals. Okay, that's really an important one. You have to use your brain nowadays. Eat the supplements yourself. It's much healthier and much more, much, much smarter, okay? And to all the vegans, supplement your freaking B12, okay? Don't even let the levels go low. You don't want to risk a neurological damage and anemia to give the meatheads some arguments. Oh, the veganism is shitty, huh? Look at you, okay, you want to be healthy, strong and fit and therefore you need your B12. So be sure to supplement it. I'm out guys for today. Peace. I hope you enjoyed the video. You got something out of it. If you did, like it. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.